Anna and Jenny, you've been called before the Sai 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 Sorority Council to learn if the school's oldest and most popular sorority has accepted you. Jenny, congrats, <gasps> you're totally in. <laughs> Diana. First, let me say I'm so excited to be... I'm afraid your application has been rejected. Rejected? The council has concerns about your lack of tolerance. But, but there must be some mistake! I'm tolerant! I'm totally tolerant! In fact, tolerant is my middle name. <laughs> <gasps> Diana! Martin! <laughs> Just ignore the geek behind the curtain. As I was saying, I can tolerate anyone, even... Martin? Huh? Look, Di, we're prepared to offer you a deal. If you can tolerate a free spirit like your stepbrother, we'll reconsider your rejection. What? You've got to be kidding! <coughs> I mean, what a wonderful idea. Great. You've got 24 hours. Now go out there and show us how tolerant you can be. Uh, you got it. Oh, Martin, what are you doing out here? Remind me never to pick you as my charades partner. I was trying to tell you that the center is beeping us. Huh. Huh. The fountain. Last in rotten egg. Huh? Oh. 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 History cleared. Diana Lombard cleared. Java the caveman cleared. Oh. Ah. Ah. Nice move, Martin. If you're a great Dane. I mean, what a clever way to dry off. <laughs> Think I'll try it. <laughs> well, you look more like a Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Hi guys. Hi, Hi Billy. Boy, Di, you're sure in a pleasant mood today. As a Sai 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 sorority sister hopeful, it's my duty to be extremely tolerant of everyone. Even a doofus. I mean, a free spirit like Martin. <laughs> Whoa! Cool! What is it? Gaian telekinetic device. The hot toy for Christmas on Gaia 1 and 2. Can I try? <gasps> no. Hmm. And now for your assignment. Last night a man, Dr. Trevor Sindler, disappeared from a train platform outside Washington, D.C. The same train platform where there have been reports of a mysterious being. Go check it out. Train platform? Mysterious being? This has albino alligator written all over it. Huh? Yeah, they live in the sewers and come out at night to stalk their prey. Oh, please. That is the most outrageous. Uh-uh-uh. Careful with your words, Ms. Sorority Sister Hopeful. Outrageously creative idea I've heard in a long time. Hey, Mom, can you move something else? Yes, I can. So, Trevor Sinlin was seen somewhere around here right before he caught the last train to Alligatorville. Look! Good eye, Joff! Primetime slime! And good use of rhyme scheme, Martin. It's simply amazing how witty you can be in the middle of a serious investigation. Well, what can I say? I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> Slime scan selected. Analyzing data. Sample of type Alpha Eductus Subterraneus. It's sewer goo, which means my albino alligator theory must be correct. Hmm. A 
As you can see, he dragged the slime up from down there. Martin, can I ask one little question? If albino alligators live in the sewers, why hasn't anyone ever seen one? Because they're covered in goo. Hey, check it out. It's Trevor's cell phone. Looks like he made a phone call before he disappeared. Who'd he call? Roberta Frisk. Well, maybe she can tell us something. Java no like Georgetown. C. Jones, M. Muncie, P. Nowak, R. Frisk. Oh, that's gotta be it, Roberta Frisk. Let's see if she's home. <laughs> yep, she's home. Come on. Java no see. There, in the corner. All right, Mr. Alligator, consider your urban legend days officially over. You are activated. Alpha goggles selected. Hey, where'd they go? There. Unbelievable! Ah! Look! Forget about my alligator theory. What can drag a full-grown woman straight down the side of a building? An albino Santa Claus? Hmm. Just kidding. There must be clues around here somewhere. Hmm. This is interesting. Uh, Di, I love a good read too, but are you sure this is a time and place? This isn't a book, Martin. It's the results from some sort of genetic engineering research written by Dr. Roberta Frisk and Dr. Trevor <gasps> Sindler. Guy from train station. Apparently, Trevor and Roberta work together at Geno Splice Labs. All right then, <gasps> Geno Splice Labs, here we come. Slovenly living space is a bad thing. Yeah, right. Hey, what's this? Bioscan selected. Analyzing data. Sample is tonsorial clipping from unknown animal of Order Muridae. Order Muridae? You mean this is... A ball of super long rat hair. Cool, huh? Cool? Are you kidding? Only a child would think rat hair is cool. Are you calling me a child, Ms. Lombard? <gasps> uh, of course not. I was just pointing out that your approach has a childlike exuberance, that's all. <laughs> Great detective work, Marty. <gasps> <gasps> what was that? Come from down there. Come on, we better check it out. A humongous rat's nest. Help us! There! Over here! Help! Oh. Oh, that's a giant rat! Not cool, Martin. Quick! Let's get out of this nightmare! Oh. <laughs> Quick 
enough. Turn into ah! that. I got her selected. the security cameras were recording when the lab was trashed. There's Roberta and Trevor. Uh, who's that? Dr. Maurice Muncy. <laughs> hey, look out! Don't get it on your skin! Some of that formula leaked into an air vent! I wonder where it ended up. And what happened when it got there? came in through there. Land here. <laughs> Nothing worse than sleeping in slime. Look! Al Rizzo, the Genosplice janitor. Good old Al looks a lot like... <gasps> Man. This formula must be some pretty strong stuff. An ox. Hmm. Uh, that is a smart, friendly, clever, clumsy ox. <laughs> right. Anyway, the formula must be some sort of nanomolecule that combines rat and human DNA. And Rat Man, I, I mean Al, must blame those freaky scientists for turning him into a nasty, nappy furball. That would explain why he dragged the other two here and turned them into rats. Now he must be going after Dr. Muncie to finish the job. Let's go up to the lab and try to find Dr. Muncie's address. No need. Huh? My super sleuthing sense will tell me exactly where Muncie lives. Super sleuthing sense? Get real. <gasps> I mean, I'd love to hear how... I saw his name on Roberta's apartment building. Do that! 
He must have a collapsible skeleton just like a regular rat. And regular rats have super sensitive hearing. How do you know? I saw it on the When Rodents Attack special on the Wild Animal Channel. Ha! Perfect! Add a little volume. Look out! <laughs> to hold our rambunctious rodent <laughs> for about 10 seconds. Dr. Muncy, are you all right? Uh, who are you? Uh, where did that horrible creature go? You mean Al, the gentle splice janitor? What? When Dr. Frisk spilled the formula, it turned him into the rat man. <laughs> If we don't reverse the process before the transformation is complete, he'll be stuck as a rat forever. Java no want to be rat. How can you reverse the process? We can't. Not without the formula. Wait! I took this sample from the janitor's room. Will that help? We need the janitor's DNA, too. And I don't know how much of it is left in the rat man. Al had black curly hair. And as grody as it is, I can see that there's still a few left. Excellent thought, Diana. We just need to get a strand. Excellent thought, Martin. You better hurry. Thanks, Java. Doctor, your order of janitor DNA is ready. Now, we just need a stove to heat up the beaker and extract Al's DNA. Great idea. If you huh? haven't been paying any attention to what's going on, I mean, hello? Ratman's in the kitchen! Aha! You watch! I got her selected. Another fine job, Agents. These three will have to answer for their unauthorized experiments, but I'm sure they'd rather spend some time in jail than the rest of their lives scurrying through the sewers. Thanks, guys. If you hadn't shown up, I would have spent the rest of my life as a sewer rat. It was our pleasure, Al. You know, except for the slimy parts. Eh, uh, sorry about the bite, Java. It okay, Al. Well, Di, I must say, I'm very proud of you. Good work, Ando. Welcome to the Sisterhood. What? Oh, uh, didn't you know? I'm senior advisor to Sai Sai Sai. <gasps> I told the girls if you could be nice to me, you could be <gasps> nice to anyone. You did great, and with my recommendation, you'll be in. No sweat. You mean, being nice to you was your idea? Yep. So I've been slimed and gooped and rat-haired because of you? That's right. You're completely and utterly uh, intolerable! Hmm. Oh, and with only a couple of hours to go. Oh well, we can try again tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that. Till you get it right. Sorry. <laughs> 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 